Hi friends, welcome to Hashtag Me. So good to see you after a couple of weeks. So in continuation to the multi-threading related series, today I am going to bring on you a new video on synchronization example. So we will th see through the synchronization method and how basically uh, synchronization works in Java and we will put a real case here, use case scenario and uh, see what's the importance of it and uh, why should you use it. Uh, so let's go for it. So to start with what we'll do, I'll de design a class. We'll take uh, an example, let's say consider as a movie ticket counter. And uh, in my previous video as I explained that a uh, movie ticket counter will basically it's, uh, so it's the best example as a movie ticket counter will uh, one or more people arise so it's in a queue process so one after one uh, one member after one member the tickets are processed so ideally it suits the example so we'll see uh, how how can we go for it so so i'll just start with it multi threading in java so basically my there will be a class called a movie ticket counter so the main logic would be in the movie ticket counter class uh, let's say it consists of total available tickets tickets let's say there are 500 tickets so uh, there is a show in my particular screen now that we are theater, it totally consists of 500 tickets. So I kept it as the 500 tickets as a total. And there would be also number of tickets per person. Number of tickets. Per person. How do you Or uh, let's keep it in number two. two. Uh, uh, number of tickets available. We will keep it as a int variable, and there will be number of uh, total number of tickets. And uh, yeah, uh, so basically in this class we will define the logic for uh, the movie ticket counter. How would we go and what all parameters we need to include in it? And uh, so number of tickets are ready. So the logic would be if total number of every day if condition number of tickets and it should be greater than zero and then number of tickets available should be less than or equal to total available tickets okay. yeah but uh, it's showing as a compiler error so what we need to include we need to include there uh, as a synchronize method so basically this method needs to be synchronized so what i will do public void synchronize ticket counter take it as a under method So we will pass it as a number of tickets available as a parameter to this.
so basically uh, in my this method basically are taken as the number synchronized because it's important that uh, per person it will take uh, as the per person uh, as the uh, each person will go on available tickets so the count will head count of number of available it will get reduced per person let's say the total uh, there are 500 tickets uh, so if five oh, person will five so the count would be 495 after that three then would be really, really, it would be 492 and so 492 and so and so on so the logical tickets would uh, get decrease as the tickets are available simple available per person yeah but the main point to note here is that we are keeping this as synchronous that why would be because we want only at, at a time one person to avail uh, the uh, the quota in uh, of the total available tickets so we have kept this as uh, synchronized and uh, if we we'll give a condition if total available tickets equal equal to zero then we will mark it as uh, show is household for that particular household for today as the we cannot provide any more tickets so it, uh, the show would be household only simple we have taken two if conditions and uh, yeah so it will avail the number of tickets this is, this is a basic uh, uh, program movie ticket counter and the meat contains the main logic of for uh, uh, availing the number of tickets per person now what we'll do we'll keep one more class uh, so that would be like just uh, uh, it will be it will dip it will like inject the logic uh, into the this thing uh, ticket counter uh, so we'll keep this class as um, we can give any name basically uh, we can give name as um, ticket counter that ticket helper it should implement the runnable so yeah so we we'll basically pass the movie ticket counter to this as a inject the object over here this may run method will it will just take the input from the user that uh, how many number of tickets you need uh, will currently executing threads so such will be printed mm. so we'll basically include that and uh, like scanner class for it scanner scan make to the new scanner so we'll take the input from the user for the particular person I imported the scanner class now 
number of tickets required. Let's skip it as uh, this thing to take the uh, input from the user, and uh, we'll just print uh, like uh, which thread is currently executing. Thread is currently executing. Thread dot current thread not get name. And we'll just ask uh, the user the how many tickets do you want? Printly. How many tickets do you want? And we'll just take it. And we'll call this movie ticket counter dot yeah so what we will do it will internally pass uh, we will create an instance of this movie ticket counter and uh, uh, as you pass the number of tickets, let, let's say it be 10, 10, 4, 5, it can vary from person to person as uh, you, the requirement might be someone who might be going 2 tickets, someone who might be going 3 tickets, someone who might be going 4 tickets. So we'll take it a user, a customized user based input for over here and uh, he will have the tickets over here. And uh, yeah, so that's all the, the logic for this class. So that's the upper class logic. Now we will contain the main class. Okay, that is the public class in which the synchronization sample and we'll have a public static void main. Uh, so we'll basically create two threads. New thread. So we will start these two threads. We need to include this as a move ticket counter object. Ticket counter. Now let's note that we have started that thread, but this not should be not the normal thread. So we will uh, need to inject as a runnable target over here. So we will do that. We will take this movie ticket counter dot uh, ticket counter dot uh, let's say this ticket counter
yeah so we have included the movie ticket count over here so in this class we will just take this as an example move in movie ticket counter and uh, we have taken this thread as a like runnable thread and we have taken pass this as a uh, like a method over here with the ticket helper it's a runnable uh, instance and we have included the this movie ticket counter because for that purpose we like uh, injected that movie ticket counter into ticket helper and uh, so same we'll do, do for here ticket helper start So yes, this is now we are designed three classes. So first of all, I explain that this class contains the whole soul logic of uh, like for availing the tickets. So basically, uh, there are total of uh, number of available tickets for the particular show. And I just taken this method to synchronize, and I am taking the number of tickets available uh, as a parameter to it. Number of tickets greater than zero, number of tickets less than or equal to. Uh, number of tickets then only it will get decrease if the total available tickets equal to zero show is household for the it will print this that's all logic and i taken as a simple helper enterprise that implements are runnable and i have passed the uh, above this thing as a like uh, injector and i have created a, a constructor based uh, injection over there and uh, just taken as uh, the user input that currently executing thread how many tickets do you want i may pass it over here also dot current thread dot get name so to that particular ticket to get that name and in just in the main ticket I've created the movie ticket counter and I am printing available tickets now let's see what it prints in output I'll save the program running it as a Java application yeah, so thread currently executing is 0, thread currently executing 1, how many ticket do you want thread 0, uh, and how many tickets do you want thread 1. So, first say that side say 12 and 3. And again, show it in the console. How many tickets do you want? So, I say 3 and I say 5 yeah so number of tickets available by thread 0 is 5 and number of tickets available by thread 1 is 3 the remaining ticket uh, amount of tickets available are 495 number of tickets uh, available are uh, 492 so when as it is uh, like it is going on depleting as the number of tickets are available so firstly it was decreased by Thread 0 is 5 and uh, thread 1 is 3. So, after having the uh, two tickets, it's uh, It's like about printing the count to reduce the count to 8 because total number of tickets are reduced to 8 so it's uh, taking it as uh, this thing thread uh, uh, 495 total 500 500 minus 5 is 495 and uh, 495 minus 3 is 492 so that's reduced to 3 So what if I now change it to, if I don't make it as synchronized, what will happen? So what's the importance of synchronous? If I don't make it as synchronized, it will not, it will not object update uh, as the correct count. We'll get like uh, some discrete values or not desired values. So let's recompile if I uh, remove the synchronized keyword over here. So I'll just uh, clear it. And once again, we'll uh, see what it prints in the console. Importance of synchronize I want to show you. So I say let's say four I said 
and I said uh, 10 I have it. So total uh, number of tickets should be uh, available should be uh, remaining amount of tickets should be 400 minus 14 that is 486. Let's see if we figure it out put 486. Yeah, but see over here the difference is that uh, we are seeing the output as 486 but but the, the difference is that uh, for uh, entire case it is showing as 486 so after handling after the first ticket also uh, we are seeing the count as 486 and after for uh, after the second thread means like second person also handling it is showing as the thread 486 but that is not correct so uh, it should be get updated as 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 it gets depleted by uh, availing the tickets per person so that is the total count we are getting credit but it is not like uh, 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 concurrently updating per person so the importance of synchronize uh, is for that purpose we need to make this method as synchronize so we have the importance of synchronize over here and uh, if i again print the output let's say if i avail the 500 tickets these are zero yeah so yeah see if i have in the uh, total tickets that are 500 by a single person that is uh, number of tickets available by thread zero is 500 remaining number of tickets available are zero so show is household for today it's printing as uh, because uh, we have called it twice so it's printing as uh, show is household for today and uh, this is that for firstly i will find it if and again i try to i will find it let's see what the remaining count it shows see uh, i have taken i will say 500 because 500 was the total amount of tickets and uh, uh, so the second thread i have taken as zero so the number of tickets are with thread zero that is 500 it's correctly updating as 500 and the number of tickets available at zero that is correctly showing so it's showing a show is household today and uh, again i will like try to I will find it find it by each of them let's say what oh if I just click on find it yeah, it is showing me that number of tickets available by thread one is 500 and I mean number of tickets available are zero see uh, it's not uh, even allowing me to take the input if uh, it's directly I am having uh, it's 500 but uh, if I try to I will lessen number of tickets it's directly printing the remaining uh, amount of tickets are available at zero so Correctly, it's uh, executing and it's showing its behavior. So, if I uh, if one person try to allocate all the tickets, so it will obviously not it will obviously grant, but it will not allow any other person to avail the number of tickets as the show is household. So, no no many other tickets will be available. So, if I execute like three, sorry three and four. Yeah, see currently the 7 tickets are updated but the account here is showing as corrected once uh, the number of tickets are deducted per person which is showing as correctly the, so 500 reduced to 3 that is 497 and 497 reduced to 4 that is 492 so it is getting correctly updated per person so this video was all about the importance of synchronized method in java so we saw with the examples uh, with simple example of a movie ticket counter that uh, we just created as a class with a movie ticket counter and we just uh, provided logic for a ticket availing and the condition on which you should show the show is household condition so a realistic example that we saw how and we just with the help of our runnable and uh, we, uh, we injected the movie ticket counter and uh, we just created the logic for uh, taking the user input and just in the main method we just uh, gave this as a runnable instance this the point to be noted is that it should be a runnable instance uh, we need to pass if we pass it as a general this thing it will not work it will not work basically so if i remove this from here and it will still compile but it will not so the desired output see we are not getting as the uh, this thing anywhere in the console because uh, this thread is uh, not uh, it's a by default thread constructor so it's not uh, giving any 
so basically it's not uh, taking the injection that we created a, a runnable instance so the point important is it should be a runnable instance so it, i uh, created this class as a ticket helper and i pass it uh, movie ticket counter as an instance to it so uh, through dependency injection that is important to, uh, for our program to work and uh, yeah post that it's working fine it's working correct and uh, we are getting the desired output and uh, we are implemented the program so this was all about synchronization method in java uh, using some realistic example and uh, uh, simple easy to understand example so do keep liking subscribing to hashtag me more to come on news on synchronization related topics and uh, stay tuned bye for now